Do you like riffs? Well, have I got the band for you. GBK, Granville Isles Key, America's Own, one of the first American black metal bands, along with like Abzu and all that other, all the good stuff, you know, all the good, Judas Iscariot, you know, some good stuff in US, not just all the Cascadian stuff that you hear nowadays, there is a lot of other good stuff, and Granville Isles Key is one of my absolute favourites. They just do songs like no one else, it's so riffy, it's so just... It has the death metal style, but it's not death metal, if you know what I mean. Like, it has those chunky riffs, it has that face melting, just, it has solos in as well, crazy solos, and it has, even has doomy parts in, so, Brown's Blyle's Key, great band, um, very unique in the genre as well. No one sounds like Grand Blyle's Key, um, the closest would probably be, oh, I don't even know, you know, I don't even know, I don't think there is any. There's no closest. There's no fucking closest. Um, yeah, I love them. So we're going to be ranking them here today. A long time coming. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why I emphasised come in the coming then. Probably because the albums will make you come. So let's talk about all of them. There's only like four. I think four. Yeah, four. I had to check then. Four. They had a lot of EPs, but we're not going to include them. A lot of the songs from the EPs were on the albums anyway. But I do love the EPs, especially... Um, Goat of a Thousand Young. That's such a banger of an EP. It's probably one of my favourite EPs of all time. Uh, I love it. The song Shemam Forash is actually on Mocking the Philanthropist, which is hard to say, which we'll get to soon. But yeah, let's rank them. So before I do, pop yours down below. How would you rank this band from worst to best? And let's get on with it with my least favourite, which is still fantastic album, Kosherat. Probably said that wrong. Is it like kosher rat? <laughs> I don't. I don't know the fuck. I don't know the fucking foggiest. A fucking foggiest. This album's fantastic. It is great. This is last on my list, but it's out of four. Come on, it's like ranking Ahab albums. Like they're all goddamn good. This has more modern production compared to Mocking, uh, obviously, in the demos and stuff like that. Um, but it works so well. It has a similar kind of sound as like Judy Beast Assassination. I just feel like the songs on that catch me a little bit more, but some of the songs on here are some of the best they've ever done. Vultures of Misfortune especially. Holy moly, that song is dancing and a half. Yeah, yeah, you gotta get your Arabian dance on on that one. <laughs> so fun and then blast into the, the heaviness as you expect with this band. So riffy, so just chef's kiss. Gotta do that, Rabbi Dance. On a Mule Rides the Swindler is another standout track, which is also an EP. Uh, love it though, such a great song. And the Bearded Hustlers to kick off the album. What a great song title, and what a great song to just start off the album in fury, just furiously starting it off. Such a good album overall and you know if this was any other band this may be like number one but because it's Grand Isles Key it's coming here at number four if you have a number one very good you know they're all tens it's just where you lie with them the next one may cause more controversy so let's get to that because it is Mocking the Philanthropist can never say that fucking name this album's fantastic this is the classic um this is like the debut a lot different sound to all the other albums. More raw, which is I appreciate. I love raw black metal, um, but I feel like that it's it's a long album as well, and there's a lot of like weird instrumental, like weird passages uh, in the songs, and just like kind of happy elements to it. Trans transitions is the word I'm trying to say. Weird transitions in songs, kind of like nursery rhyme stuff as well. But I think it's fun and it kind of adds to the music and I kind of like it because of how weird it is. I love the use of like the organs, I think probably synths, I don't actually know, um, but yeah it sounds like organs in the song Sumerian Fairy Tales which is such a cool atmospheric piece, great stuff. Foul Parody of the Lord's Supper is a classic and Shemon Forash which I said before is on this album, um, it's one of the best songs, you know it's one of the catchiest best songs well written such a classic, and I love it. 
But yeah, it has those like weird parts in, like the ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Stuff like that, like nursery rhyme stuff and weird melodies that I'm like, I recognise that. I can't remember where we're from, but I recognise it. But overall, you know, it is one of the best albums. It's the weirdest one in the whole catalogue. It's the most black metal sounding, if you know what I mean. The others, the production's a little bit better, but this one is like... But yeah, this is in the more classic sounding side of things. But I still love it. All the songs kill. Every single one on here kills. And I think it's a breath of fresh air, but it's not my favourite, which is why it's only here. So number two is... Tu -tu -tu, Kohanic Charmers. That's right, the latest album, which I reviewed in full on the channel when it came out. Um, Love it. Absolutely love it. Like a 10 year gap between albums, but it floored me. Uh, every song is just a banger. If you want my full review, um, I can link it in the description down below. Um, I loved it. I, I absolutely loved it. It took everything from the Judo Beast assassination and kind of just did like a 2.0. 2 like Jackass 2.0, but Grand Ballard's Key 2.0. So good. So good, the songs in here. Heavy, fast, aggressive, and riffy as fuck, boy. Fiscus Judiscus. Oh, <laughs> that's one of the best songs they've ever written. So furious and catchy as fuck. The opening track as well, the dizzying guitar melody, and also the door is marked with sheep's blood. Sheep's blood! The way he sings sheep's blood is so fun. Absolutely adore that song as well. Um, every single song in here is fantastic. Every single one. It's a banger from start to finish. It was one of my favourite albums the year it came out. Was it last year? Or was it the year before? But whatever year it came out, it was in my top ten. It might have been my number two. It might be last year, because Blind Guardian won. Wow, what a contrast. I love Blind Guardian. Um, nerd! But, yeah, I think this was number two. I, I absolutely loved it. Loved it. Uh, loved it. It was definitely in the top five. Uh, of the year, one of my favourite albums by the band, and it's here at number two, so that means we all know what number one is. The Judo Beast Assassination. Holy fucking... I didn't even mention the artworks. The artworks on here are so funny. I love them. <laughs> I love, like, taking, like, the Jesus pictures and, like, the Free Wise Men and all that stuff and just having, like, black metal face paint on it. It's a great aesthetic. Absolutely fantastic. I love... Um, the art on this one as well. Um, it's it's so fun. Um, anyway, back to the album. This is Peace of the Resistance, the best. A compilation of the sound. Riffy as hell. Good production, but not too good. And it sounds over polished like Tech Dev. You know, it's that middle ground, which I like. And it has so many cool parts in, especially the ending. The ending of this album so good, with that kind of solo with the doom elements around the solo, just, it's it's unheard of. It's unheard of, and they make it work, and it works so well to end the album. The Shittagog, what a great name. Great melody in that as well, absolutely fantastic song. The Tenderhearted's Manifesto as well, opening up the album. So riffy, riffs for days, and it comes in with those bells, those chimes, it's like, ding, ding, and it just adds to the atmosphere. They have good... A songwriting ability where they can make these catchy ass riffs that'll get stuck in your head, but have like layer it with these cool like other sections in the background. Maybe it's organs in some of the songs. Maybe it's like bells chiming. Just weird, cool little things that just add to the song and make it fuller. You know, it's, it's like a cake, and you're just adding the cream on top, and then the cherry on top of the cream on top of the cake. That's what it's like. Layering, and they layer it fucking good. So like, hey, give me more layers, bitch. But yeah, uh, Judah Beast assassination. Is it Beast? Or I'm gonna keep saying Beast. What the fuck is a Beast? Uh, this is my favorite album. Uh, it's one of the best U.S. black metal albums of all time. Not just U.S. One of the best black metal albums of all time. Kicks the shit out of some fucking Scandinavian stuff. It's better than any Immortal album. Fight me. It it is. It's better than any. We should do a video where it's like, when popular opinions request you again. Because, yeah, this is, this is better than any of that. Drink your fucking coffee. Yeah, it's good. It's my favourite. And every single album is amazing. Love everything they've done. Love all the EPs. Every single one. There's not the Nothing they've, they've done has been bad. So, look forward to more stuff on the way. Um, 
So yeah, let me know down below what you think of the band. Uh, don't start shouting about fucking politics or anything stupid in the comments. Because I've done my video on that. So go watch that, you little fuckbags. So yeah, love this band. Love the albums. All of them's great. Let me know what you think down below and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.